Good day and welcome. I think uh, our friends from Seattle need to know that it's always like this in Anchorage. <laughs> and we're very glad you're here. We're, we're thankful for these creative partnerships that uh, you've forged with University of Alaska Anchorage. And we hope that it will continue for many, many, many years to come. I want to recognize a couple folks, a couple people who are with us that I noticed uh, who are special to me uh, for a number of different reasons. We've got Chief Justice Walter Car Carpinetti, the Alaska Supreme Court. Chief, would you let's give Okay, Justice Winfrey. We're Justice Winfrey of the Alaska Supreme Court as well. And I thought Justice Dana Fabe was here. Are you here? Where did I miss you? There you are, Justice Dana Fabe. Now, did I miss any of your colleagues? I just noticed we noticed the three of you. Well, welcome. We're very glad to have you. You know, I also understand that you just sat through a CLE on collegiality and civility, is that right? How many of you did that? Okay, so who wants to tell me what you learned <laughs> in a civil manner? Come on, come on, Debbie. <laughs> Who's gonna be bold without making the dean recite his outline for me? Chief? I think that's a great, uh, a great summary, uh, Justice Carpinetti. Thank you very much. And it, it actually encapsulates the way we should practice, practice law, practice politics, uh, practice life in general. And that's part of our uh, Choose Respect initiative here. And it brings me back to the time when I first started out as a new associate attorney in this town. It was 1987. And I got two examples of collegiality, one a little bit humorous, and that was that the first day of work, there were two other young associates, baby attorneys in the firm with me. The partner in charge said, hey, young men, there were three young men, he said, I want to take you to lunch. So we said, okay, thank you very much. And we all trooped down to the restaurant, which was a block down the, down the way, had a great lunch, and he leans back in his chair, and he just starts to pull out his pockets pretending like he didn't have any money. And he didn't have any money, and we paid for our own lunch. <laughs> One example of collegiality <laughs> that I would urge you not to emulate. <laughs> but another, another partner took us aside that same day, and he said, you know, this is a small town, even though there are a lot of lawyers in this state, this is a small town. And the way you practice law with one attorney, you're gonna meet that same attorney in another case down the road. And he's, he urged us to write with, without using inflammatory language, without taking personal shots at each other. And that is something that the bar here in general is known for, I think, is that more collegial nature compared to what I've seen in other states. And so I'd urge uh, the members of the bar here to, to carry that forward and, and you young attorneys as well. And frankly, it's a, it's a lesson that we could learn in the political arena to a greater degree as well. I want to talk about, I want to ask, it, who, who of you here are in law school now? Which, okay, so let me talk a little bit about Alaska's opportunity and what it offers for you. Because this is a rich land. It's rich in resources, it's rich in people, and it's rich in opportunity. That's one of the reasons I chose to make my way here with my family. You know, we, we are the biggest state, and we like to kind of put that out there. We have more coastline than the United States, the 48 states combined, that means there are a lot of disputes related to the coastline. <laughs> we have a lot of fish and game, and there's a lot of disputes about fish and game. The beauty, one of the beauties of Alaska is that we are a young state when it comes to state law and statutes. When I began practice in 1987, I was reminded that we were only about 25 years old as a state, and the law was only settled for 25 years. We didn't have 200 or 300 years of common law a precedent to fall back on. We, got, we were reminded that we get to create new precedent here. That is an opportunity that young lawyers don't get when they're in a state like California or Louisiana. This is, a, this is a place where a young attorney can make his or her way, and you can make it on your own terms. 
It's a place where you can hang your shingle up. Three years into my practice, I remember sitting in a, in a courtroom uh, in the old, the old bony courthouse there, waiting for the judge to walk in. And it was the first, the first time I actually kind of got to sit in a courtroom and wait for everybody else to get there, including my client. And it was in that moment that I realized, you know, I can do this. I can represent my client well and be a part of the system and be a contributing force in the system. And thereafter, I went out and hung up my own shingle for about nine years of solo practice. And, and uh, so I've, had, I've known what that's like. That is something that's available here, whether you want to work for the big firm or whether ultimately you want to own your own practice. That's an opportunity that's here. So whether you want to help create new law, new precedents, whether you want to own your own business and move forward, or whether you want to become part of a large law firm and deal in complex topics, this is a great place for you. It's also a great place for you to make a home and make a way. And I'd urge you to consider it as you look to your future here in Alaska. With that, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to participate. The one thing that you have going for you, Dean, which you may not appreciate as Seattle University Law School, and one of the reasons I picked the school at the time in 1984, was I had a choice between going to law school in California or, or Washington. And I chose Washington for the reason that more Alaskans are going to school there. It's a place where we can graduate with our classmates and come back and practice with them. That is something unique to Seattle University Law School. And I hope that those of you who are taking that opportunity will again consider that a reason to come to Alaska to, to start your practice. So thank you so much for welcoming me and have a great reception too. Thank you.